இம்ப்ளிமெண்டபிள் மல்டி டைமல்ஸ் ஆரை அந்த அடுத்த இந்த த்ரீ டி ஆரை ஹாஸ் எக்ஸ்ட்லி த்ரீ டைமென்ஷன் இட் கேன் பி ஸ்ட்ரைஸ் டு கலெக்ஷன் டூ டி ஆரை ஸ்டார்ட் இன் டாப் ஆஃப் ஈச் அதர் டு கிரியேட் த்ரீ தேர்ட் டைமென்ஷன் த சிண்டாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் தேர்ட் அரேஞ்ச் இன் அரேஞ்ச் சைஸ் ஒன் சைஸ் டூ சைஸ் த்ரீ If you to know more about multi-dimensional arrays, you refer to this article, multi-dimensional array relation between array and pointers. We can calculate the address of uh, AIG in the row major order given these spaces. Uh, let the length of each row in the array be row length equal to high 2 minus low 2 plus 1. Address of AIG is uh, i equal to low 1 into row length into size. the relation between array and pointers array and pointers closely to each other such that we can use pointer to perform all the possible operation of the array the array name is a constant pointer to the first element of the array and the array decays to the pointers when passed to the function the passing array to a function in c the array is always passed to pointer to function c whenever we try to pass an array to a function it decays to pointer and then passes to pointer the first element of the array the return array from a function is we can only return a single value from a function to return multiple value or elements we have to use pointers we can return array from function using pointer to the first element of that array uh, you may notice that, that we declare static array using starting keyword this is due to the fact that when a function return a value all the local variable and other entities declared inside the part function are deleted so if we create a local array instead of static we will get a segmentation fault while trying to access array in the main function the properties of array in c yeah it's very important to understand the properties of the c array too so that we can avoid bugs while using it the following are the main properties of array in c fixed size array in c is a fixed size collection of element the size of array must be not the compile time and it cannot be changed declared homogeneous collection we can only store one type of element in an array there is no restriction on the number of elements but the type of all these elements must be the same index in array in the array index always start with zero in c language it means that index of the first element of the array will be zero and the last element will be n minus 1 next diamonds of the array the diamonds of array is the number of index required to refer to element in the array it is the number of direction it which will grow on the array size quantity storage the all the elements are are stored continuously one after another in the memory it is one of the def- defining properties of the array in c which also reason why random access possible in the array random access in the array in c provide random access to the element that is we can get a random element at any index of the array in constant time the commonly just by using the index number no index out of bound checking there is no index out of bound checking in c c plus for example the following problem compile find but may produce output output any ra- the advantage of arrays in the random and passes of element using the array index the use of fewer lines of code as it create a single array of multiple elements the travels through the array became easy using a single loop the sorting became easy as it can be accomplished by writing fewer lines of code the disadvantage of array in c allow fixed number of elements to be entered which is decided at the time of declaration unlike the linked list the array in c is not dynamic insertion and deletion of element can be costly since the elements are needed to be rearranged after insertion and deletion conclusion the array is one of the most used and important data structure in c it is one of the core concept of c language that is used in every other program uh, though it is important know about its limitation so that we can take advantage of the functionality that is a fixed size uh, the frequently asked question in c array the array is a fixed size gomasin is collection of element that are stored in continuous memory allocation uh how to declare array in c data type array name size how to initialize an array in c using initialize list using loop why do why do we need array we can use normal variable v1 v2 v3 when we have a small number of objects but we want store large number of instances it it, uh, it becomes difficult to manage them with normal variables the idea of array is to represent many instances on the variables how can we determine the size of the c array we can determine the size of the array using the size of operator in c we first get the size of a whole array and divide it by the size of each element type what is difference between array and pointers the point is a derived data type that can store address of other variables the array is a homogeneous collection of item in any type such as int carry etc the pointers 
are allocated at run time the arrays are allocated at run time the point is a single variable the array is a collection of variable of the same type uh, point is a dynamic in nature array is a static in nature Uh, next topic I'll explain about the pointers. The pointer is uh, one of the uh, core components of the C programming language. A pointer can be used to store the memory address of other variable function or even other pointers. These are pointers allows low level memory access, dynamic memory allocation and many other functionality in C. In this article we discuss pointers in detail. Their types, uh, their types, users, advantages and it is disadvantages with the example. What is pointer in C? A point is a defined as a derived data type that can store address of other C variables or memory location. We can assess and manipulate the data stored in memory location using pointer. As the pointer store memory addresses, their size is independent of the type of data. They are point due to the size of pointers only depend on the size system architecture. The syntax of pointer is similar to the variable declaration C, but when you are using the asterisk difference operator in the pointer declaration. The point is the name of the pointer and data type is a type of data it is pointed to. The approach syntax is to define the pointer is a variable. We can also define pointer to function structure, etc. How to use pointer? The pointer can be divided into three types: pointer declaration, pointer installation, differencing. The pointer declaration, we only declare the pointer but not uh, but do not insulate. To declare pointer, we use a asterisk difference operator before in names. Example in this star pointer. The pointer declared here will point to some random memory addresses as it is not insulated. Such pointer are called while pointer. Pointer insulation. How to pointer insulation? The pointer insulation is the process where we assign some insulation value to the pointer variable. We generally use the ampersand address of operator to get the memory address of the variable and store it in the pointer variable. We can also declare the insulation the point. It is a single step. This method is called pointer definition. As the point is declared and inserted at the same time. Note it is, uh, is recommended that the pointer should be always inserted to some value before starting is use it. Otherwise, it may lead to number of errors. Uh, difference. So the difference point is the process of assigning the value stored in the memory addresses specific in the pointer. We use the same difference operator that we use in the pointer declaration. The type of pointers. The pointer can be classified into uh, the Integer pointers, as the name judges, uh, uh, these are the pointers that point to the integer value in the star pointer. This pointer pronounces the pointer to integer. Similarly, the pointer can point to any primitive data type. It can point also point to derivative data types such as array and user data types such as such as. Next topic, uh, next uh, subtopic is array pointer. The pointer and array closely relate to each other. Even the array name uh, name is the pointer to its first element. They are also known as pointer to array. We can create a pointer to array using the given syntax. The pointer to array exhibits some interesting properties which we discussed later in the article. The structure pointer. The pointer point to the structure types is called a structure pointer or pointer to structure. It can be declared the same way uh, we can declare other primitive type, uh, type. The function pointer. The function pointer points to function. They are different from the rest of the pointers in the sense uh, that instead of pointing to the data. Uh, the point is the code. Let's consider a function prototype in function in care. The function point is this function will be. Next is the topic explained with the double pointers. The C language we can define pointer that stores memory address of another pointer. Such pointers are called a double pointer or pointer to pointer instead of pointer to data value, they point to another pointer. Next the difference of double pointer. The pointer name get the address store, the pointer name get the values pointer. Next null pointer. The null pointers are those pointers that do not to point to any memory location that can be created by assigning a null value to the pointer. A point of any type can be assigned the null value. The white point, white means empty. Uh, the white point in C or the point of the type white, it means that they do not have any associated data type. That are, they are also called generic pointers, or so they can point to any type. They can be typecast to any data type. Next, while pointer. The while pointers are pointers that have not been initialized with something yet. This type of C pointers can use problem in our program, can be usually custom to crash. Next, constant pointer. The constant pointer. The memory address stored inside the point is constant, cannot be modified. Once it defined, it will always point to the same address space. Next final topic is pointer to constant. The pointer pointed to constant value that cannot be modified is called pointer to constant. Here we can only access the data pointed with as a pointer, but cannot be modified. Although we can change the address stored in the pointer. 
another types of point in C far pointer, darkly pointer, huge pointer, near pointer, normal pointer, file pointer. The size of pointer in C, the size of point in C equal for every pointer type. The size of pointer does not depend on the type it is pointing to. It only depend on the operating system and CPU architecture. And the size of point in C is 8 bit for the 60 bit system, 4 bytes for 30 bit system. The reason for the same size is that the point to store the memory addresses no matter what type they are. As the page required to store the address of the different memory location is the same. The memory required by one point type will be equal to memory required by other point type. How to find the size of point and see we can find the size of pointers using the size of operator as one of the following program. Next important topic is the pointer arithmetic. The pointer arithmetic refers to the regular value arithmetic operation that can be performed on a pointer. It is a slightly different from the ones that we generally use the mathematical calculation as only limited set of operation can be performed the pointers. This operation includes the increment. Different types they are increment in a pointer, decrement in a pointer, addition of integer to a pointer, subtraction of integer to a pointer, subtract two pointers of the same type, comparison of pointers of the same type, assignment of pointers of the same type. The pointer type is increment in pointer, decrement in a pointer, addition of integer to a pointer. Assignment. language pointers are next element for example have an array name with value then value and values it can be used interchangeably if you say assign the value to a non-constant point of the same type then using the pointer thus as a array element you the use of pointer Assessing array elements, return multiple value from memory allocation, implement data. The advantage of pointers uh, following the major advantage of pointers, the pointers are used for dynamic. Memory allocation and the deallocation. An array or structure can be pointers. And the pointer can the pointer is to form, form complex data such as such a linked list, graph tree, etc. The pointers reduce the length of the pro program and its execution time is well. The disadvantage of pointers in the memory corruption is can occur if you can incorrect values provided pointers. The pointers are a little bit complex to understand. The pointers are naturally responsible for memory leak, uh, leaks in C. The pointers are comparatively slower than variable C. An initial pointer might cause a segment is called uh, conclusion. But as they powerful as they are, they should be used as responsibility as they one of the most uh, variable part of the language. One second, reveal the pointers. The, uh, the points are variables that can store memory as of another variable. What is the difference between constant pointer and pointer to a constant? The constant pointer points a fixed memory location. We cannot change the memory at a store instead of the constant pointer. System and CP architecture. What is the difference between array and point? Runtime uh, arrays are like it's a runtime. The point is a single variable. The arrays are collection of variable of the same time. Why do we need to specify the type in the pointer? The type is in the pointer question that the compiler de referencing and the pointer arithmetic operation. Next up, in with the function. The program that is a code easily. 
So it is the main argument of the C function. The syntax of function in C return type function name data type parameter. The type of function there are two types of function: user defined function and built-in function. Return value. Uh, a yeah, C function may or may not return value from the function. If you don't have return value from the function using void, void for the return type. The void means empty. Uh, yeah, int int float array is means return type. The example of uh, without return type means using void. Here, uh, here this small program uh, using void. Here only the no return type one. Next, uh, different aspect of function calling. There are four different aspect of function calling. The four different type of function calling. Different uh, aspect of function call. Function without argument, without return value. Function without argument with return value. Function with argument and without return value. The function with argument with return value. Here, uh, example for function with uh, without argument, without return type. Here, the first one is without no argument, no argument, and without return value. Uh, here, the example is uh, header file. Uh, header file is main uh, function de declaration. Uh, below main function, the uh, print of hello, and uh, the function calling is there. Uh, here, without return type. Without return type means in the print of statement only in the main function. This when uh, whenever calling. The print the value in the main function. Uh, uh, that is uh, only the difference between the uh, actual parameter and the formal parameter. The actual parameter, the value is passed to the formal parameter. The formal parameter, the value received the actual parameter. Uh, that is same is uh, same is, is the call by reference, call by value. Here next one, next one is example for function without argument with written uh, with written value. Without argument means. Uh, in formal and actual parameter does not give argument only return value uh, return some value here is a, a simple program is there uh, main function uh, function declaration the function declaration ending with the semicolon is main function in the main function call the sum of two number And the printf state here I have explained without argument with the return value. With the return value means in the printf statement the print the value in the main function. Next is the output going to here output. Uh, next one is with the argument without return. Here the value passed to the actual parameter the actual parameter uh, to the formal parameter and uh, here does not return value. Uh, here is a simple example header file uh, de uh, declaration main function. Uh, result print of uh, scan of here without return type without uh, return value without return value means and the print the value in here uh, final is for uh, function with argument with return value function de uh, declaration main function uh, with return value here uh, going to calculate the sum of two numbers enter two numbers the user enter numbers uh, here one second i will explain uh, main uh, header file uh, function prototype main function uh, particular variable user enter the value uh, the store the values so this function calling uh, whenever uh, the actual parameter the actual parameter is formal passed to the formal parameter and the value is process again the value is again back to the uh, main function that is the return here is going to calculate the sum of two numbers and the two numbers time sum is a 30 uh, next topic will explain about the storage classes what is storage classes in the store so variable or function this features basically include the scope visibility and lifetime which help to trace the extents of particular variable during the runtime of program in the c language is the four storage classes auto extern static register auto means is automatic it is a default term. means it is a external data segment and it has static means data also data segment register means cp register uh, auto auto insult value is cartridge value uh, extends in cell value is 0, static default value is 0, register default means cartridge value. What is cartridge value means it is an invested value. What is scope time? Uh, scope, scope line.
optimist uh, scope multiple times time and the registers uh, within the block and the uh, and the auto life time is block is end of block and extends till end of the program static till end of the program register end of block once i will explain the storage capacity there are four types storage specific auto extend static storage uh, storage means the st uh, st stack at the initial values garbage value garbage value means some unvested value scope data scope means within the block within the block means uh, block means uh, uh, open prices and closing prices and next in the lifetime is uh, end of block uh, next in the second one is extend extend means data segment extend means like is a global variable global variables in the value as the value as the outside the program you have assess a value in, in anywhere in the program uh, the initial value is zero and scope is uh, multiple ta multiple times uh, uh, and the lifetime is till end of the program static means data the same as so storage is data segment and initial value is zero and scope is uh, within the block within the block and the lifetime is still end of program register uh, register cp garbage value within the block end of block uh, why is it register and the, the mostly in the instruction the instruction directly uh, stored in the register is a fast execution uh, fast is is not a direct access direct access to the program uh, next day will clearly uh, one by one explain the auto auto means is it is a default storage Uh, the classes for all classes for all the variable declared inside the function array block. Hence, the keyword autos are all used in the while writing for the C language. Auto variable can be only accessed in the block or function. They can be declared and not outside them, which defines the scope. Of course, uh, this can be accessed in the nested block within the parent block function, which is the auto variable is declared. However, they can access outside the scope as well as using the concept of pointers. Even keep by pointing to the very exact memory location where the variables reside. Uh, they are assigning a garbage value by default uh, when whenever they exit. Second uh, storage class is extend. Uh, what is extend means is also a global variable. Uh, global variable means the value access in the anywhere in the program. Anywhere in the program, the extend storage class simply tells us that the variable defined elsewhere is not in the same block where it is used. Basically, the value is sent to the different block, and this can be overwritten, changed in the different block as well. So, can the external variable is nothing but global variable is essentially with local value where it is declared in order to be used elsewhere. It can be accessed within the block function or block. Also, on the normal global variable can be made external will be using the external keyword before a declaration of a definition on a function block. The basically in the second case we are not using a new variable, but in this we are using access a global variables only. In the main purpose of using external variables is that can be accessed between two different files which are part of the large program. Next is static. Uh, static is its default value is. Huh. Next is static variable. The storage classes used to declare static variable within property used in while writing program in C language. The static variable uh, have the have the properties of preserving the value even after they are out of the scope. Hence, the static variable preserves the value of the last used in the scope. Say that that exists only once and exists till the termination of the program. Thus, new new memory allocated because they are not uh, declared. The scope is locked to the function to which they were defined. The global static variable can be accessed anywhere in the program. Uh, by default, they assign it to value zero by the compiler. Here in the program, he declared uh, four function calling four four times. Uh, next is finally is a register variable. Uh, the register so we can also keep the some register variable. The register variable some the value store directly store in the register. Uh, the register place is near the CPU. Uh, uh, near the CPU, the register has limited phase, which is not space available. It will treat uh, uh, variables auto, auto variables that have the same functionality as that of the auto variables. And uh, the only difference the compiler tries to store this variable in the register, then make the use of register variable to be much faster than the variable stored in the memory. Yeah. In free register, it is not available. These are the, the, the that store in the memory only. Usually, in the free variables uh, which are to be accessed.
just a keyword which improve the running time of program not an interesting point to the notice we here see is that we cannot open that here the storage example log a uh, lifetime is local scope is local within function storage does external lifetime is global scope in all function static uh, lifetime is global scope time local register lifetime local global uh, next up we will put the structure uh, what before what is difference between variable array structure uh, the variable means uh, only one value insists to the variable uh, it cannot uh, multiple value insists the variable suppose it, uh, we de it declare multi uh, declare multiple variables and insists multiple value take more time uh, it is difficult to uh, create a program in array means at a time array means so homogeneous as homogeneous data type homogeneous uh, store multiple value at same data type not different data type uh, the, that is also pro uh, store different data type in the array but it is overcome into the overcome into the structure the structure store different data type different data type is suppose the class have 60 students uh, 60 student have store uh, name roll number subject mark address etc up store at a time different data type stored multiple students what is up start is a keyword such is a keyword the such is a different is the keyword with the name employee it, it has two member variable and integer id and the character array uh, what is the key key such a keyword in c a such is a keyword used to defend such in c the such in c is used to defend data type that store different data type variable under one user different data type the structure variable are used to assess the member of the structure the structure must be defined before use he has a three different method to define structure variable structure tag structure type defined structure here the structure variable the variables are defined uh, here start double x double y points uh, here it is a member name double x double y double x double y it is a member name it is it start a variable uh, at the ending with uh, so the pointer name structure name is, is a point is a semicolon the structure is a use a different data type that can be items of both different types in it is used to define the structure in the c program language uh, the items structure are called member and they can be of any valued data type uh, first, mm, we before uh, before is uh, explanation variable declaration variable initialization uh, array declaration array initialization how uh, assess the val how assess value from the array here also structure declaration structure initialization uh, how assess the value in the structure uh, we have to declare structure in C before using it in our program. In such a declaration, we specific member variable along with their data types. We can use the start keyword to declare the such and use the following syntax. Here in the start structure name, data type member, data type member name one, data type member name one. Uh, the such and ending with the semicolon. The above syntax is called uh, syntax is called structure template or structure prototype, and no memory is allocated such in the variable. When the memory is allocated. When the variable is declared, when the variable is declared, uh, then only in the mem memory is allocation is possible. See structure definition. To use structure in our program, this is uh, structure in, in our program, you get to definite it in instance. We do not, uh, we can do that by creating variables of the structure. Uh, such a type, we can define such a variable using two methods. The such a variable declaration with structure template. Here, the, here this example. Uh, stretch point, uh, stretch point double x double y uh, here, it is outside uh, it is inside you declare inside the structure variable declare after such a template here here this case his case in the such a variable declaration after such a template uh, this case so the such a variable the such a declaration with the structure template Uh, 
first i uh, first i will explain uh, declaration with structure in slicing with the structure next how to assess the value in the structure using dot operator we can assess structure number by using dot operator syntax in the structure name dot number one structure name dot number two uh, in the case uh, uh, where we have pointed to structure we can also use the r operator to assess the number uh, the initially structure member the structure member cannot be increased with the declaration for example the following c program fail in the compilation the reason for the above error is simple when data type is declared no memory is allocated for read memory is allocated only when the variable is created we can initialize structure memory in three ways which are or follows using assignment operator using initialize list using designed uh, is it designated in initialize list mm, initialize initialize is using assignment operator str dot member one equal to value one str dot member three equal to value two str dot member three equal to value three initialize using initialize list initialize is using designate initialize list uh, using the assess member variable this variable may be like another variable uh, here the assess point one the point one is a structure name dot x uh, that variable uh, assess the value next r operator is to assess member using pointer the r operator syntax and next dot operator syntax the type of and the type of structure keyword is used to define uh, uh, alias for the already existing data type in structure we have to use the struct keyword along with the structure name to define the variable sometimes this increase the length and the complexity of the code we can use the uh, type of to define some new sort of name of the structure next sub topic is nested structure the c language allows to insert one structure into another sm member this process is called nesting and such other and such structure are called nested structure there are two ways which we can nest one structure into another embedded structure nesting in this method uh, the structure being nested is also declared inside the uh, parent structure in parent structure uh, here uh, the parent structure initially such and the structure may insert the time is declared other is insert other is essential the separate structure nesting this may two such are declared separately and then member such is nested inside the parent structure one thing note that here is that the declaration of the structure should always present before the definition of structure member for example the declaration below is invalid as the structure member is not defined when it is declared inside the parent structure assessing in a nested members we can assess nested members by using dot operator two times as shown um, we can define the pointer the points to such like any other variable such pointer generally called structure pointers we can assess the number of the structure pointer by the structure pointer using r operator the use of structure in c the structure can the structure can the use of structure in c the structure can be used to define the custom data type that can be used to create some complex data types such as data, data, data dates time complex number etc which are not present in the language it can also use it in the data organization where a large number of data can be stored in different field the such as are used to create data the such as such as tree link list etc they can all be used for returning multiple values from a function the limitation of these such as the higher memory concentration it is used to such a padding no data hiding you see such a do not permit data hiding the such a numbers can be assessed by any function anywhere in the scope of the structure the function in such structure the see such a do not permit function in such structure so we cannot provide the associate function mm, static members in the c structure cannot have static member in said body the uh, the construction is created in such the such is in c cannot have a construct in in series structure uh, next up we'll explain about the array array within structure a such is a data in c or c++ that allows scope of later variables to be treated as single unit instead of separate entities a structure may contain elements uh, of different data types int char for double etc uh, it may be also contain array at array as it numbers such as uh, such as array is called array within the structure an array within the structure is a member of the structure and can be assessed just we assess the other elements of the structure Uh, below is the demonstration of the program that is the concept of array within the structure the program display the record of the student comprising the roll number grade and marks according to every subject the marks in various subject have been stored under a array called marks the whole record is stored under structure called candidate 
array of structure the array is a collection of data items of the same type each element of the array can can be into care for double or even structure because see the structure allows elements of different data type um, different data type uh, new data type itself so can array can compromise elements of new data type an array of structure find it application in grouping and recording together and providing uh, for a fast access and uh, the below is the demonstration of array structure the array hold details of student in a class the details includes the roll number grade and marks uh, which have been grouped under structure uh, they exist uh, one record for each student this uh, how collection of related variables can be assembled under a single entity for enhancing the clarity of code and increase efficiency uh, here also on the array of structure it declare array here in the type of a uh, type of uh, member struct struct is a keyword it declare it declares unsigned cover red green process and structure member uh, it is a template uh, as a template here uh, here uh, we declare structure of array structure of array the pixel map dot red 127 dot green 0 and dot 258 the difference between array of structure array within structure a structure contain array is it member variable can be accessed using dot operator the array which element type uh, type structure just we assess the element of the structure in assess of indexing just we can assess an array the structure is a parameter the struct like an int may be passed to a function the process work just like a passing an int uh, passing an int a structure is a parameter such like an int may be passed to a function a process work just like a passing an int and in that the complete structure is copied to a stack the call function is unable to modify the call as copy of the variable uh, the discern of the passing such a value in the copying not such an int stack is inefficient may cause stack overflow the structure point is a parameter the more efficient the pass the address of the structure passing address because that one single word we push it on the stack no matter the size the call function uh, can then the modify the structure the structure point is a parameters uh, here the type of structure is a template here double is a two structure member declare and here the ending with the semicolon uh, here the main function here is the pointer variables uh, assess the member assess the, mem assess the value assess the value using dot operator the constant structure parameter what if you want to want the reception to be able to the modify structure is using the const modifier this is also a simple program it's the same concept uh, return such a point to local variable what is local variable the local variable means the value access in the block and global variable means the value uh, access outside the block uh, returning such a point to local variable the reason the function is returning a point to variable that was uh, allocated on the stack during execution of the function such variable subject to being wiped out the subsequent function call the function returns such a values it is possible for function to return a structure this facility depend upon the structure assignment mechanism which copies one com complete structure to another avoid the unsafe condition as well get the return pointer but in case in the possible extreme penalty of copying the very large structure the function retains such a variable here declare in the structure red green blue and the function uh, here here declare structure pixel tp00 and calling and execute the program the array is a parameter and written the array address is passed as a parameter similarly passing by reference embedded array in structure the only way to pass an array by value it is an embedded in the structure the one way to the return the array is embedded in the structure both involve copying the array is 